So for all those that are struggling with Season 14, or more specifically their placement matches, don't worry, I've got something that'll cheer you up. On the first day of Season 14 solo queue, even the T1 members were having a hard time adapting to the map and item changes with the King himself Faker going 0 wins and 3 losses, Gumi Yusi, the AD carry going 1 win and 4 losses, Ona doing slightly better but still badly at 1 win and 3 losses, and Zayas going 1 win and 2 losses, winning 1 then losing 2 where I can only assume he got off after. So don't worry, even the best players in the world are having having a tough time learning the new season. I'm sure you'll shake off the learning curve pretty soon. Up next, the $5,000 bet between Midbeast and Baus on who can get the highest rank by the end of January is well underway on the EUS server, with Midbeast on Simon Slayer 5000 doing Oceania proud and leading the way with an extremely impressive 80% win rate in Diamond 1, going 47 wins and 12 losses, with his most played, his signature Talia, sitting at 82%. Uh, this happened while the video was being edited, so I'm just doing a voiceover to include this bit of information. Midbeast actually just hit master on his race account, taunting Baus on Twitter to get his money ready, Baus responded saying, it's a marathon, not a race. I'm also pretty sure he was like Emerald 1 with 30 wins and 1 loss or something like that. It was only once he reached Diamond he actually started to get some losses. The Dopa Slayer really putting in the work. But Baus on Demon Simon isn't out of the race though. Sitting at a respectable 72% win rate with 36 wins and 14 losses in Diamond 4, his most played is actually Galio at 14 games and 79% win rate, followed by his Scion at 9 games and 67%. Crazily enough though, he doesn't even average 10 deaths on Sion. Maybe this is a new season Baus playstyle. The pair still have another 15 days to climb as high as they can and they're about to enter the part where the games will actually test them and see who can continue climbing. Both their OPGGs will be in the description below as well as the comparison site. Now if you enjoy this type of content and have ever learned something or been entertained, consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out and you can always change your mind later. Up next we have this clip from, I believe he's an Oceania user, a modifier testing out his theory crafted Sion build. Going Heart Steel, Sundered Sky, Mercs, Spirit Visage and unending despair, Modify heals 35,000 damage in one fight while making pretty funny noises as he life steals with Sundered Sky. Just check out the clip. Back up already. 400 from your one item, that's ridiculous. I'm actually unkillable to these guys. Hundred heart still stacks. What? Oh. Fuck. No. So right, it was only a minute fight. Like. <laughs> you have to see the stats. Holy fuck! Honestly, as weird as the build path is, I can see it having some relative viability before someone buys Blade of the Ruin King. Moving on, Riot's latest $200 skin, or Chroma should I say, Divine Heaven Scale Lee Sin, what a name, has a new particle which I don't think we've seen before in a champion, a dragon finisher animation. This may be the first of a whole new effect we see Riot look to add to champions in the future to further flesh out their cause for charging so much for skins, but I feel like it's kind of only relevant to jungle champions, something like a top laner might only see this animation once a game, if at all. Either way, check out the clip from Skin Spotlights. Yeah, pretty underwhelming, but I mean, I guess I like the idea of conditional particles within champions. Kind of still waiting on the tower take animation Riot showed a while ago. Maybe still a work in progress. I don't know. Up next, T1 has seen a bit of controversy over the last few days as they've been found charging double the price of regular seating for LCK Spring. Normal LCK tickets go from 20 to 25,000 won, whereas the T1 Premium Zone tickets are going for 40,000 on weekdays to 50,000 on weekends, with the only difference being you get seated with other T1 members and a free cheering tower slogan. Oh, and if T1 win one random a member will win a jersey. While this technically isn't in breach of anything and they'll still sell out, the most liked comment on the announcement post said this. Translated from Google, does it make sense that this is twice the price of LCK? Even ANG, the seating selection, have poor visibility. Membership users sign up for a fee. People who have signed up for a paid subscription are paying twice as much. Usually paid memberships are discounted. Is your goal this year to reduce the number of fans? I don't understand. I mean, I know esports is a pretty volatile and money sink industry, but I feel like people have to speak up with their wallets to dissuade stuff like this happening. And onto the main topic of today, Season 14 is actually fun, although we do have a few things to address. Firstly, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with how many changes were shipped and nothing just completely turning the game on its head. Riot has done a decent job balancing the new map and item changes, but of course with Riot games there are some outliers. Ricegrew made a video on the Storm Surge situation that's been going on, but another item I think that's going to receive a pretty quick addressal is the Bruiser item Sundered Sky. Replacing Divine Sundra, its highest pick rate is on Bruiser champions and has led to some pretty ridiculous fighting power, with Riven seemingly being the best user sitting at around a 58% win rate when using it. I'll be the first one to say that what you're about to watch is not okay and needs a nerf. Just watch these clips I got literally today and yesterday.
So yeah, it's pretty disgusting stuff, but I can definitely see a fix coming very soon. Have you had any experiences with Sundered Sky like this? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, that'll about do us for the day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.